So now let us look into filtering the data and also accumulators. We'll first look uh, in details about how to filter the data and also we'll actually add accumulators to it. Before getting into that, let us revisit the problem statement. Our problem statement is we need to get completed and closed orders so that we can actually get the daily revenue using the uh, daily revenue for each product using only completed and closed orders. We have to discard all other orders which are in other different states. Okay, uh, so to understand how this complete and closed orders are represented, first we need to actually look into our data and then we have to come up uh, with uh, necessary API calls with uh, a proper uh, conditions so that we actually get completed and closed orders. Okay, so first let us start looking into what are different order statuses we have. Before getting into it, now we need to actually look into something called actions. Okay, and for that time, sorry, something called transformations. For that again, we have to go to the Spark programming guide. You can see here transformations and actions. These are the main things which you need to learn for Core Spark. Okay, we have already seen actions to preview the data. Now we'll look into the transformations. You can see there's a transformation called map, filter, etc. Map is primarily to, to apply transformations on, on each record. Filter is to create subset of the original data set based on certain condition. If the condition is true, uh, the records which satisfy the condition will get into the uh, new collection. Others will be discarded. Okay. So before using filter to get completed and closed orders, let's use map and see how the completed or closed status is represented in the data set. Before getting there, let's review the data model, get the column names, um, number of columns, and other details, and then we will work on the logic. So here is the data model. We are primarily interested in orders. Orders have four columns, order ID, order date, order customer ID, and order status, okay? So there are four fields. And now if I go back to the terminal where I have connected to the lab and uh, launched PySpark and using the orders dot take off 10. Using this, we can preview the data. Okay, before that I have to read the files. And now I can say for order in orders, print order. And we I can see 10 records to preview the structure of the data. You can see uh, data have four fields and uh, each field is separated by comma. Okay, and as the data model suggests, this is the value which represents order status. Okay, and you have order status such as closed, pending payment, complete, etc based on these 10 records. But we never know some of the orders might be something like completed or some other way, which can mean that it is complete or closed. So to make sure that we cover all the necessary scenarios uh, to use as part of filter letter, first we need to extract this and we have to get all the distinct elements and the way uh, it will work is because we have to extract this last field from each and every record we have to use a, uh, a spark api called map okay and uh, and then as we are processing one string at a time we can leverage typical python string apis uh, to split these individual records and access them so i will demonstrate real quick so I'm creating one element, one variable by using one element. Here I have to put it in double quotes. Okay. Now if you see the type of S, it is of type string. Let us do it as Unicode. So the way you can actually create as Unicode is by saying like this. And then you can say type of S. So you, Unicode is also 
string only okay because um, even when you actually look at the data using uh, api such as first as returns as it returns unicode uh, i have created this element as uh, also of type unicode instead of string okay now if i say s dot split there is a api called split on it if you want to get the details of the apis that are available you can say help of yes and it will show all the apis that are available so over a period of time you should be able to be comfortably using all these apis as and when it is required okay and one of the api will be split you can see it here okay and split takes separator and then the output is nothing but list of strings which is nothing but collection okay so i'm coming out of this one and now i can say strings equal to s dot split of comma which is nothing but separator here and then i can say type of strs they are nothing but of type list i can also see the values in the list so these are the values and i want to get this one for each input record i want to get this last element and the way i can access it is by using the subscript notation like this which will give the uh, the fourth element um, in the array which is created due to split api call on the string using this i can develop the logic as part of the map function and as i have covered um, if you look at the syntax of uh, orders dot map okay we will be using map to extract this element if you look at the syntax of map it takes an argument of a function so it, it we have to use anonymous functions to satisfy this and then we can do whatever we want okay in this case um, this anonymous function takes one argument uh, and that argument is of type unicode which is nothing but the data type of our element and then we can return whatever we want we will be returning uh, uh, unicode string which is nothing but the order status okay so let's write the logic and then you will understand so here i am creating a new variable called orders map equal to orders dot map it takes lambda function and each call uh, so there are 68883 orders and for e, uh, this map function will be invoked 68883 times and in each invocation one element will be passed to it which is of type unicode so this order is of type unicode in each iteration okay and then i want to split it it is separator and then i want to get orders status so orders map will have all the order statuses of our input data okay you can preview the data by saying orders map of take of 10 you can see here we are getting the order statuses alone now if i want to get all the distinct order statuses there is the api called distinct you can go to the documentation you can see here distinct doesn't take any mandatory arguments don't worry too much about num tasks at this time okay so i can just use distinct you can uh, check the syntax by saying orders dot distinct distinct is an api on top of rdd and you can see distinct doesn't take any additional arguments self means we are already saying orders dot so it is satisfied already and then number of partitions by default is none so you don't need to pass it so you can ignore it for now so you can just say orders map dot distinct and hit enter okay and because it is uh, creating rdd it is not showing the results so what you can do is you can say for i in or for some variable in so order status is variable name distinct dot collect 
dot sorry collect will actually convert into a day and then i can just say print order status okay here uh, because the uh, order status is kind of a dense column where there are very few values you can use collect to preview and we want to see all the order status so we have to use collect only and hit enter twice and you can see different order statuses and we are primarily interested in complete and closed using this information now we will write the filter logic okay so let me say orders statuses and then for order status in orders statuses dot collect print of order status okay that is done now and we got all our order statuses complete and close are the ones which we are interested in now i am creating orders filtered this is the new rdd name and i, I am using orders itself as input and now i am using filter filter also takes one argument okay you can see here but it actually for each in invocation it, um, the lambda function has to take one argument such as this and it has to return some boolean value okay so let's write the logic so lambda order and here i have to say order dot split comma three and i am interested in complete or this is the advantage of using editor i can copy paste this one if i use uh, uh, command line it is not that straightforward okay and if you want to line break you can do like this and you should not indent if you try to line break in python or pyspark so i can copy this code and go to the terminal and paste it and now orders filtered rdd rdd is created let us preview the data first let us check the count of orders there are 68883 records orders filtered dot count there are only 30455 and also we can say for i in orders filtered take of 100 print of 5 you can preview the data like this and you can see each and every element in this new collection have status as complete and closed orders on top of this thing as part of our uh, topic we also need to cover something called accumulators uh, because we need to get the number of orders which are in completed or closed status and also we'll try to get um, number of records which are not in completed and closed uh, order status and we will see that as part of another video